So this is the Vincent deck which got first place in the Battle Hardened Salt Lake City. This deck was played by Yuanji Li or Yuanji or I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Lah. But anyway, uh this is how the deck looks like. So what only one copy of Deathly Delight, then Rainbows of Deathly Wills, because Deathly Wills make the rune chance. Enveloped in Darkness makes the rune chance. Morgan Skies, they cut down the yellow. So he cut down the yellow like Morgan Skies. Uh, maybe because like if you stuff in too many go again enablers, there will be the risk of drawing too many of them. There's also a lack of reduce to rune chant. Uh, I mean like reduce to rune chant is always like useful against. If you have a, it's useful uh, but you need to have a rune chant in order for it to be useful. If you don't have a rune chant, you need to pay a card to, you need to pay like, at least like one card in order to play it. So if you split your block value, so reduce to rune chant is four block, right? That means it like divides the block over the second card, which means like you're having like two blocks, two block per card. Uh, and then you create one rune chant out of the deal. That is if you don't, end your turn with rune chance which can happen so that's probably why there's no reduce to rune chant in here pummel because pummel is always very good you just like smack the cards out of your hand then putrid stirrings yeah putrid stirrings is like back in the deck i think it's because you can play it from the banished zone and five Attack is nothing to sneeze at. But unfortunately it costs like three resources now, so playing it might be a bit hard. Read the runes, right? Ah this is this is interesting. Because as a Vincent player you always want to end your You always want to end your turn with some rune chance so you can do your rune get stuff the next turn. So read the runes like more or less guarantees that if you have a go again enabler which is the Morian Skies and the Shadow Puppetry. If you have this or this, you can, and you don't have a Deathly Will, you can just like finish your turn with Rune Chants ready for the next turn. I hope it makes sense. And what happens if you don't have a Gokin Enabler? You can use the Spellbound Creepers to turn any of your cards into a Go Again Enabler. Sort of a Go Again Enabler like for the Read the Runes. So. Actually, read the runes is like more useful than I thought. Rune block incantation because the extra rune chant per turn is always very useful. And shadow puppetry another go again enabler. This rune get too easy to cast six, so it's good as a popper. This one and this one is the same, just that this one has the added benefit of banishing the top card of your deck. If it's another rune gate card, then it's good. Lah. So widespread destruction can free up a rune gate card in your arsenal and command and conquer the opponent's arsenal. Dread triptych to create rune chants and it's like four it's four damage, so you can convert like some of the resources, the card you play for this, into damage lah, or another card from your opponent. So all for the out night, more ways to create rune chants. Oblivion. I don't know, he put Oblivion in his deck, but I'm thinking with the number of read the runes and the rune blood incantation, reaching six rune chants for Oblivion might be a possibility. So you see Oblivion, if you got your read the runes out or something, you just crack the quill hand and create your Nesref token. Widespread Annihilation is like Unheard Pummel, something like that. So moving on to the equipment, I'm not sure when you decide to like Arcanite Skullcap or Crown of Providence. I will go Crown of Providence here. Evanfold is for the wizard matchup. They say normally uh Kano or just all the wizards will just like kill you in one go, so you cannot count on the arcane barrier from the Arcanite Skullcap. 
you use dietic carapace as arcane barrier. So the good thing about dietic carapace, right, is that it has arcane barrier too, which will like help to cover the damage from Rosetta Thong quite nicely. Ornate Tesson, so you see the thing is right, he is not using the scepter of pain. He is using Ornate Tesson. Why in case you need to filter your hand? So which is which is correct lah, because if you think about it, right? Spending a two resource to like ping somebody for one and potentially create a rune chant is good, but they can always like pitch resources to play for it. To pay for it, lah, sorry. But not meeting your rune chant count is very bad, lah. So we want to avoid a very bad outcome. So on it, Tessin, it is. Primor the Hound, Haunt. Primor the Haunt, yes. I think this one is for other room blades or wizard matchups. Then for the rest, you go with the on it, Tessin. It's another pseudo crown of providence, I guess. Sutcliffe Sweet Heights. I am not sure when he uses this because. This doesn't really work with read the runes, so yeah. Anyway, like the quill hand is, yeah, the quill hand is like the you can use it as an emergency button to get off your rune chanton or something like that, lah. Then carrion husk is carrion husk like you can block some very big attacks from brutes or something. I would not. It was me, right? I would just like bought out the replace the skull cap for uh what you call it I would replace the skull cap for this uh for what for what for what for what okay I've already created a copy of the deck so let's edit the thing and the sweet heights Ah uh, yes, Grasp of the Arc Knight. Uh, let's move all of the non-essential stuff to the sideboard. I can put in two more cards. What cards do I want to put in? Maybe I just put in down and dirty against like illusionist or something like that. Who knows? I'll be taking this deck to the skirmish tomorrow, so I'll see how that goes. Like. Oh, I cannot sideboard this. Isn't this like a? Uh... Never mind. I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can put this in the sideboard. I'll just leave it as it is, lah. Anyway, like enough of the rambling onto the matches, I guess. So we're up against a uh, Briar, and let's go first here. Briar has Rosetta Thorn, so I will swap out the Tessin for the Grimoire of the Haunted State, and yeah, let's do it like this. Do I want the uh, Ebon for Probably not lah, we're not fighting a wizard. So what do we want to... I mean like the choice is clear. Widespread Annihilation. And then... I cannot cast the thing here. I cannot cast anything here. So what I do here is I just... No, 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 no. Undo, undo, undo. Roomblood Incantation. Pitch the Morin Skies. Okay, so... Uh, can we do one into the other? So 
so what I could do is I could banish the Daphne Whale. I can cast it next turn. The yellow Daphne Whale, I mean. And I pay for the Putrid Stirrings with the blue Daphne Whale. And whatever they play here, I use the widespread ruin or the armor to block with. It's like you you see all these cards, right? Then you have like the line of play in your head, and then when the opponent swings with something. That line of play goes out the window because they're coming with you for they're coming at you for like a lot of damage. Like so. Like you see this is coming in for eight. Do I just block with the armor here? I think I do. Block with this. Block with this. And then I'll just take the four from So I won't pitch here, I'll probably block with the Crown of Providence and not do anything here. Okay, my wife is coming back, uh, I'll need to open the door soon. Now I banish this. And I play the Putrid Stirrings. Pitch this. Pay the life. And definitely will. I will be back soon. Okay, uh, he's still choosing how much to pitch. It's okay, I have a good view of the door from here. Let me just refresh and make sure that he is still choosing. Yeah, he's still choosing. I forgot to cast a Shadow Puppetry. Fuck, 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 fuck. But I can always save it for later lah. Oh, my wife is back. I. Ah. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. So, Shadow Puppetry. I did not cast the Shadow Puppetry. Will that come back to bite me in the ass? I don't know. This is coming in for 10 anyway. Maybe I could use a Shadow Puppetry with the Widespread Annihilation. And then I could swing the Fear of Agony and threaten to create room chunks. Yes, block with everything you've got. Wait. 
Oh, you cancelled your blocks. You undid. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, let's see if he hasn't typed anything yet, so I guess that I guess that he is happy with like however he chose to block. What's this one while defending? Or why does he not want to use the embodiment of Earth? That means everything here is an attack, attack action, or he wants to use it. Who knows? Hmm, I guess I can use the oh wait. I could just do like a... Should I? Should I do it? Should I do like a fucking... Uh, what's his name? Should I do like a... Nasref? I haven't summoned Nasref before. I just blocked the Ventum Wraith. What's this last card in his hand? A Rosetta Thorn for 2? Yeah, eh? He still manages to get off the- Oh yes, Sonata Kynex. I guess I'll just take the... I'll just take the 2 here, la, given what's gonna happen next. So, gotta remember to do it properly. So I can just do the Oblivion here, right? It's an instant, so it doesn't use attack points. So I just use the Deathly Whale here. Next turn, I can use the Widespread Annihilation. How does it feel? You... So how does it feel like casting Nasra for the first time? <laughs> Good, I guess. But imagine I still lose here. Then that would be like really fucked up. That means I know I was fucked up. I did something wrong. But I mean, like after this attack, I can just like hit him with the Nasra, and then he. Both of the Arc Knight with Shadow Puppet Tree, uh, nope. Now I use the Nasrath to attack him.
Next time I'll just do the widespread annihilation. Wow, okay, okay. This not good. Oh yeah, yeah, it's uh Bramble Spark. So the thing is, I can... He doesn't have resources here, so he cannot swing his Rosetta Thorn. Coming in for 4. With go again. Can he like shit out like attacks from anywhere? I don't think so. Anyway, I think this like last attack will kill him now. So I'll just pummel him. He's dead. Ooh, okay, uh, that was fun. So I'm back from the skirmish at my LGS. There were five rounds of Swiss in Blitz. I went... I went 2-5. Eh, no, sorry, I went 2-3. So, two wins, three losses. Could have been three wins, but I made a very silly mistake in the last match. So anyway, a summary of how the thing went. First round was against an Arena, yes Arena. So he managed to get off the Blood Rush Bellow turn one. Somehow I managed to block the worst of it and afterwards the usual like Runegate stuff lah. And then for some reason he like kept on low rolling on his uh draw and discard random cards. So he discarded like the cards which were not sixes, luckily, so his attack was like blunted somewhat lah. So I managed to win that. Second second match was against an Uzuri. So Uzuri the guy is good, lah, the guy is good lah, so I got outplayed lah. Then that's what I remember. I think we both got down to like 2 or 1 life apiece and then yeah. Then the third round was against... Uh, what is it again? What hero is it? Uh, against a Kasai, yeah. I managed to... I managed to like summon Nasref. So I just like grind and grind and grind and then he maybe had a bad hand or something. So I managed to like sneak in the last few points of damage. Oh yeah, I also, I remember also I like summoned, what's his name? Yeah, I also summoned Nasref in the first round against Raina. So, did I? I remember I did. Or was it like the first match? Was it the match? Nah, I, I think I did, I think I did. I did like summon Nasref against Raina. Or I could be mistaken lah. But anyway, I managed to grind out the Kasai. Managed to survive the block on the hands turn, like just full block, and then the Nasref can do like the whole attacking while I gather up the rune chance. Then fourth round was against a uh, Bravo. Ah, Bravo is a like it's a rubbish matchup for Vincent. As in, Vincent is like rubbish against Bravo because of the fatigue. So if you just like slip up, you just run out of cards. So for the 5th round against Ira, I was going to win, but the thing is right, the game plan was, the guy's at 1 already. 
all I need to do is to cast a shadow non-attack action, pay one life, then if I can fool, then if I can, I already had a rune chant on the field. So all I need in the hand is just like two, two cards in the hand, the shadow puppet tree, which will like, I can pay the life for, and the card which I am supposed to banish in place of the shadow puppet tree. Then those two cards I have left, I can use it to block. So what I did right is I blocked with I blocked with like one card only and like some armor or whatever. And he used like a razor reflex. So he managed to sneak the attack pass and then like send me down to two hit points. So he sent me down to two hit points, right? Then the thing in my hand was like a rune gate tree or like stuff like that, I forgot. But the thing is that I couldn't swing the flail with two hit points. I mean I couldn't pay the life and swing the flail with just two hit points. So like I got fatigued and then like yeah like, I didn't win that match. So if I blocked with more cards there then maybe that might turn out differently. Like, but okay like you learn something new every day. So anyway, my thoughts on the Battle Hardened deck. The quill hand is like good at starting things. It's like a how do I put it? It's like a primer in case you run out of in case you run out of rune chance, you can use it as a primer to get things started or to get things restarted. So Grass of the Arc Knight is more of a slow burn. Sometimes you have to take a turn off because like your Grass of the Arc Knight cannot like pitch. Cannot create enough rune chants, something like that. Lah. But you can do it like repeatedly over the course, many times over the course of the game. But, but this is blocked, lah, so I'm not sure like which one. Maybe there is a case where I like, bought it in or something. Against Bravo. Maybe I just like a blue power, blue putrid stirrings, and then like bring extra cards in against Bravo. Something like that. I could like board out the Scepter of Pain, but Scepter of Pain is like good just in case I run into a Droma. Then I can just like shoot his little Ash Wings. Anyway, enough of the rambling. My brain is like kind of fried, but I think I can do a few more matches. So we're up against a uh, dash, and from what I've heard from this uh Mansense playthrough of Yenzi Lee's or Yenzi's uh Blitz deck, you're supposed to go first and just like slaughter your opponent. Which was what I did during the skirmish matches. Uh the results may vary. Oh, I'm supposed to, I'm sorry. I'm not very familiar with the dash matchup. As in, I did fight one dash in the armory, but uh, he just did a few things like a, a string of attacks. I managed to block most of it. That was when I was still using the Karen Husk. Then I just like blocked out all of it and I just. Uh, what? He. Oh, he's probably like filtering his hand. Then I just like did my own attack and then he just like didn't make it. I could do a pummel here, so definitely will. Uh I want the two Yes, because I want the two rune chants. Uh, 
And now we swing with the Deathly Whale. The commentary for the next like one to two games will be slightly off and maybe a bit inarticulate because kinda like shack right now. But yeah, like, let's see how this goes. Let's hope I don't make too many misplays. He blocks now just like pummel, get some stuff out of his hand. Does he have arcane barrier? Ah uh, yes, he has arcane barrier. Oh yeah, he has yes. Both types of arcane barrier. Let's hope he doesn't have any D reacts. He wants to go big turn, that's why he is keeping cards in his hand. But okay now with 3 cards in hand and the card in arsenal, it's still gonna be a big turn from him. Yeah it's the big turn, it's the big turn from Dash, yeah it's the big turn with 3 cards in the hand. Combustible Courier. So I don't want it to hit. I did grunt bow again. That's what I thought I grunted go again. I did, I did grunt bow again. Now I've got a block with a few things here. I can block with this 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 and maybe the spellbound creepers lah. we just treat it as an iron rod licks but now we are all out of now we are all out of like things one time I'll just take the 6. I'll use the Crown of Providence when it's more like profitable to do so, I guess. Then Shadow Puppetry paying the life. This will guarantee another 2 rune chance. So with the attack coming in for 5, I hope he is incentivized to block with more things, like more cards out of his hand. swing with this see if he wants to block with another card out of his hand if he doesn't I get three wound chance for use on the next turn hmm. okay I could probably bottom something
hit and go again. Ah, uh, okay, okay, I see. So what I'm gonna do here right, is I will bottom the Venom Rave. So I get a blue, I did not get a blue. I am gonna do something very dangerous here. I'm not gonna block. Oh shit! Uh, and then he can still attack. So maybe I should have blocked. I banish this. Cannot cast the Nutrit Stirrings, unfortunately. So this is bad because the cards in hand like they don't block or shit. I hope we just like arsenals here. If able. What? Okay, I think I missed something here. Ah. Yeah, I don't win this, unfortunately. So up against uh, Dromai. Let's go first this time. 
Then instead of the fan, let's use the scepter of pain and yeah, let's go. Banish the white spirit ruin. We don't need to use the we don't need like attack now or something so we just like pass and then we arsenal the shadow puppetry Uh, this has Phantasm. Unfortunately, I do not have a popper. So I guess I will take the tree here. This is for seven. Mm. Uh, I should probably be blocking here. So what I can do is, oh, okay, it's my turn now. OBS is running. No reactions. Stick the tree. Banish the deathly whale here. So what I want to do, right, is... Envelop in darkness. Pitching the hope of the Arc Knight. Aid alive. Uh, I don't have to pay the life for this.
So definitely will at Chromai. But at least the rune chants are going in the face of Dromai. Read the runes with Shadow Puppetry. Uh, the thing is, right? What? Okay. Uh, anyway, I'll just do this. The thing is, right? I'll need to. I'll need to like banish the. I'll need to banish the read the runes with shadow puppetry. Otherwise, the widespread annihilation will do it for me. Widespread Annihilation, okay. I could make something out of that. I cannot, I, after this I cannot block here because I need like everything to create the two room chance. I hope that made sense. Actually, no, I don't need everything. So, vexing quill hand. Then we do putrid stirrings. Pitch the Morbian skies. Pay the life. This way I am guaranteed my two rune chance. And then we just swing with the deathly will. This is for 11 plus 3. Oh gosh, my eyes are closing.
Uh, don't tell me he has a D react. Don't tell me he has another D react. Luckily, he does not. Uh, so, sweeping blow. It's coming in for three. So definitely will pay the life. He has no arcane barrier. I mean, technically, he. Oh, I could use the widespread annihilation, but do I want to? Maybe next turn. Uh. Cause here I can get two rune chance for the next like for the next like thing which can help to cast widespread annihilation. Imagine I don't get any rune chance for the Death Deathly Will, that would be horrible. So for that reason I need to go with Deathly Will first. Can he like pull out like arcane damage from somewhere? Looks like he cannot. Loria. Huh. Is there anything he can attack with for zero? Because what I want to do here, right, is I'll just block with this, I guess. I hope I don't make a mistake here. So yeah, let's see what happens here.
Let's hope he didn't shuffle in any D reacts. Let's hope he did doesn't draw any D reacts. Does he have a D-React? He does not have a D-React. Whew, okay. I win. I think I'm gonna freshen up for a bit and see if I want to like do one more match. So up against a uh, Benji and let's go first against a Benji. Now against ninjas, I'm thinking that maybe the grasp of the Arc Knight would be better for blocking, but I'll just stick with the vexing lah and see what happens. Now I wanna like set up here so uh I guess I will widespread destruction then I do the read the runes And Arsenal, the Morian Skies, yes. This is coming in for one. The action cards you control with two or less cannot be defended by cards from hand. He has the mass of momentum, so do I want to like... I won't be able to... So the play here, right, is what I gotta do is I will use the... I'll banish the Phantom Wraith, then... Destruction into Phantom Wraith using the Morian Skies. Let's just block this with the blue Morian skies. Then base or whatever he does next, maybe I'll just use like a armor to block. Yes. Look nice. Okay, sure. If you want to do that. Deadly duo. This is two and go again. And I cannot defend it with a card from the hand. or less base ah oh, okay okay he chose like one attack and but i can defend with things from the hand uh, for this so i'll just do like this
he has no arcane barrier. Good to know. And he let that hit. So I don't even need to crack the quill hand. I think he just gave up. I don't know why he did that for, but yeah. Snatch. I'll just block with the yellow deathly, the blue deathly will. Oh wait, uh, I cannot because it's from Hen. But anyway, he dies already, lah. All I just need to do here is envelop in darkness, pay the life. I mean, he will draw a card, but then he will draw a card, uh, but then I don't think he can like get me down to a point where I cannot like get my where I cannot kill him, where I cannot like pay the life. Okay, now you can die. What? Coming in for seven.
I mean, it doesn't really matter. He doesn't even have arcane barriers, so I don't even need to, like... Okay, so now he can die. And now he can like really die. So yeah, I'm guessing, I'm guessing the damage he from my turn he took like all the way down to one was because he wanted to do his like very big turn which ends up with the salt of the wound. But yeah, it didn't work out for him. Anyway, I guess this is gonna do it for this this round of fights, this episodes. I need to like go and lie down. <laughs> like actually like fatigued. Ha. Like actual fatigue. Get it? Ha 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 ha. Anyway, uh, like, share, subscribe, it helps a lot. Thanks for watching, you guys are the best. Bye-bye.